Good evening, America, and welcome to the program. With me tonight is the journalist who has brought us warm milk, Meredith Mason. Meredith. <laughs> Daryl. Meredith, before we begin recounting the details of warm milk, I just want to say that I've never been so riveted before by such professional journalism. With that said, please fill us in on the details of warm milk. Well, the, uh, the coverage begins with our daily weather broadcast and then uh, segues into the events of Warm Milk. Segues? Nice. And finally, after 78 consecutive days of rain, rain, and more rain, we have ahead of us an honest-to-goodness warm, sunny, and did I say dry day? I have a sneaking suspicion that come Monday morning, a few businesses will find themselves a little short-staffed. <laughs> As someone who works in an office, I should say, I hope not. <laughs> Seriously, Barbara, thank you for that splendid forecast. The perfect weather couldn't have come at a better time, Charles. What with the first legal gay Minnesota marriage underway. And we are gaily covering the wedding for you. On location at the wedding and reception site is Meredith Mason Meredith. All around us, workers are hard at it to ensure a fun, festive celebration. Over there is Chief Wedding Engineer, H. Lober. H! H! Over here! Hi! Can we take a moment of your time? Hi, girls! <laughs> Tell me, H, what does the H stand for? Well, it sure don't stand for handsome, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm so sure. Tell me, H, how much planning goes into preparations for a wedding like this? Oh, countless days and countless nights. I haven't slept in days, darling. And look at the bags under my eyes. I mean, you could, you could store weapons of mass destruction in them. <laughs> right here. And correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems to me he is hinting at the fact that he might be packing some heat, that he himself is actually a terrorist. It's just an expression, Daryl. That's what I thought. Well, you look gorgeous. Everyone down at the station says so, too. Sweetheart, you are too kind. <laughs> Die, fags! <laughs> Die, you faggy fags! <laughs> and here is where you step up and step in. <sighs> yes. Spoken like a true professional. I am an American! I can tell. You can tell? What else can you tell by looking at me? All of you, what can you tell? Um, calm yourself. Uh, envision a, a nice warm glass of American milk. Warm milk? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. What'd you do that for? Don't know. <laughs> can you believe this weather? The first weekend it hasn't rained in three months and the fags get it off themselves? Who could allow such a thing? Not me. Huh. I killed him? Yeah, look at him. I will kill them all. I will kill for sunshine. You can't tell me you weren't terrified. I wasn't. I know. Warm milk, okay? Keep telling America your story, like you're tucking America in. Mm -hmm. But it's morning. It's broad daylight. Sunshine. You will kill for it. You have been listening. Of course. Can we sit down on the grass? Yes. Tell you what, I could use that glass of warm milk right now. Calm me down. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're doing all right. Remember? You said you've got everything you need right here. Green grass, fresh air, and sunshine. Don't forget sunshine. I'll kill for sunshine. I know you will. I know you will, too. You know? How? By looking at you. same way I know about you. Mm -hmm. 
Self-defense, right? Self-defense. Back to you, Charles and Barbara. What are we doing? Stay tuned. <laughs> it's just so brilliant and uh, hilarious. <laughs> Let me tell you, after the show, I'm going to take you out for a glass of warm milk. <laughs> no, you won't. I didn't think so. So there you have it, folks. A documentary of the first legal gay marriage in the state of Minnesota. Uh, how are the couple faring? Well, Daryl, I'm happy to announce that the groom and groom did get married that Saturday, though without all of the fanfare they anticipated. I, I have spoken with them since, though, and they do agree that it was the happiest day of their lives. <laughs> we actually have a tiny clip. And now pronounce your man and man. Well, that's all that counts, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh. Look again. 